Hey guys, SwapVet here. I recently saw a movie documentary called All Work, All Play, and I wanted to give my review thoughts on the movie. First of all, let's just get it out of the way. Um, I definitely recommend the movie to everyone. And if I had to give it a score, it would be 7,200 out of 9,000. Uh, so you may be wondering, all right, so as a point of reference, movies that are over 9,000 are movies like The Matrix, uh, Back to the Future, and Terminator 2. The film takes us on a journey from the point of view of an individual, a man named Michael Carmack the Carts. Carmack, he's the man that's behind organizing Intel Extreme Masters, or IEM for short. And basically what this is, it's a gaming tournament, like competitive for competitive gaming. The movie really gives you a sense of how big this is so by the end of it you really feel like this is kind of like the masters for golf like the u.s open for tennis we also get perspectives from two of the top league of legends teams in the united states uh, cloud nine and team solo mid or tsm and don't worry guys if you don't know what league of legends is uh, like don't sweat it um, the movie really isn't about league and it does an excellent job of explaining like the basics just so you're not completely lost the film really shows that competitive gaming or esports is real you know it's a thriving industry the number of viewers are exponentially growing the amazing and inspiring thing is learning that some of these rookies on these professional teams they get starting salaries of thirty thousand dollars and some professionals are way into the six figure range 100k plus in earnings i think that's freaking awesome um i was expecting some of these guys to say yeah i, I play professionally but i also have a day job like no guys this this is their day job the ge tigers the korean team they're really interesting uh, i really like their style right very unique and i would say yeah they're sort of like the korean boy band of esports I really enjoyed the portrayal of the rivalry between C9 and TSM. Uh, you really get a sense of like, yeah, these guys are super competitive, right? They want to beat each other, obviously, and they want to prove who's the best in the US, who's the best in the world. But there's also a ton of mutual respect between these two organizations. It's also the first time I've heard of Robert Morris University and their esports program. I mean, guys, how freaking amazing is that? That there actually exists an esports program I mean, if I was 18 right now, um, played video games, and was considering going to college, RMU would definitely be on the top of my list. And no, I was not paid by RMU to say that. But yeah, I mean, the film obviously isn't perfect. And a lot of critics have said the film doesn't really do a good job of connecting the audience with the characters emotionally. And to a certain degree, I... I agree, you know, but I think it was purposefully done. You know, it do, it's not as emotionally connecting as, let's say, um, Free to Play and Indie Game the Movie. But that's because I feel like this film is trying to do, it's trying to like portray, you know, the, the team aspect of it more, not so much singling out an individual. I mean, the closest thing we get to a protagonist is Carmack, right? He's, he's the, he's the main guy. But then there really isn't an antagonist unless you consider the GE Tigers the antagonist. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really a professional movie critic, but I do play one on YouTube. Also, guys, throughout the film, they were really trying to hammer home that esports and sports have a lot of, you know, similarities. Like, I, I get it, and I, I like that they did that, but I can see why some people would be annoyed by it. Is there, they would just be like, all right, guys, like, we get it. You're trying to say esports is like real sports. But what did annoy me, there are a few interviews uh, throughout the, the film where, like, literally, like, the guys, the, the top of their heads were cut off. So it would be like, blah, 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 blah. Right? Like, the guy's talking, but the top of his head is cut off. And then, yeah, I found that really distracting because instead of focusing on what was coming out of his mouth, I was thinking, you know, why, why is his head cut off? And what I really didn't like was the way the film started off. Um, so, so just warning you guys, you're going to like sit through literally the first 30 minutes of just watching StarCraft gameplay. Obviously, if you're not a StarCraft fan, you know, you're not really sure what's going on. And to make 
things worse, right, to compound the problem. In my theater, the first minute or so, we didn't have audio. Yeah, so like, I was already like, in like a state of confusion, if you will. <laughs> and I'm sure like in the first minute, like, they explained that, oh, this is not part of the movie. This is gameplay or whatever. But since I didn't hear that, you know, I was actually lost and I thought that this was part of the movie. So I was like, wait, so this is how they're starting it off. It, it was really awkward. So in closing, uh, I've watched, you know, other gaming documentaries such as Free to Play, Indie Game the Movie, and I Got Next. It's the one about the fighting scene community which is pretty cool. All work, all play. It's, I would say it's my favorite documentary so far, a gaming documentary. It may not have as high reviews, but I really feel like this is an important film at this critical junction in like the life of esports. Whether you want to call it esports or not, whether you want to classify these gamers as athletes, you know, that's up for debate. But I mean, the one thing's for certain is that, you know, there is an audience, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions that are willing, you know, to pay money to gather at an arena to, to watch these guys compete at the highest level. I mean, so it might not be like traditional sports, but you know, it is a sport. You know, these, these guys train every day, you know, lots of sacrifice, right? right? Whether it's like moving out to California, right? Living at the team house, you know, and also taking a huge risk, right? This is a new industry. This is a new venture. There's really no like set, you know, career path. So I, I commend all these guys. Um, I'm extremely like happy for them. I think all of us as gamers, you know, we've at one point or another have thought of, you know, it would be kind of awesome if I got to play video games and get paid. And these guys are living the dream. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys that go out and watch it will appreciate it and, you know, tell all your friends about it. So until next time, this is Suave Bet. Check it out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is my first, you know, live video with my face. So I appreciate any comments, you know, feedback, criticisms. Um, yeah, leave your comment below and thumbs up, like it, tell all your friends about it or not. If I suck, then don't tell all your friends about it. Just leave your comments here. Tell me how I can improve first so I get better. Then tell all your friends about me. Alright, Suave Bet. Checking out.